today. So we are going to be doing Canadian snacks, treats, foods. I'm also really hot. I've been out all day. So my hair's in a ponytail. Before you watch this video, I want to do a quick disclaimer slash side note. Um, I'm sorry that I'm voiceovering <laughs> the majority slash all of the taste tests. I mean, I know for me when I watch food eating videos, I like to watch the person enjoy it and everything. Um, but when I was out, the camera angles just didn't work. And then at home for some reason, I didn't talk during the time I ate. I don't know what it was. My mind was just enjoying the food. Um, but at least you get the information on the food, how I enjoy it, what it tastes like. Then you get to see me. So enjoy. All right, so we're at McDonald's right now and I was kind of confused with this machine and just what to do. Obviously I figured it out, but I usually order my McDonald's. Um, so in Canada, we have three different types of McFlurries. We have Score, M&M, and Oreo. M&M and Oreo are both in America, but since Score is a Canadian chocolate bar, it is only in Canada. It's really good. It's like toffee, um, but I came specifically to try the new Reese's Pieces McFlurry for you guys. I don't know if it's in America, um, so I got it. Alright, so I also actually got the chocolate cone um, ice cream. I was very tempted because it looked really good. Um, also, epic crunch coming in three, two, one. <laughs> I had to keep that in. I didn't realize that my iPhone picked it up so well. The cone was good. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, it ended up being too much ice cream and I didn't finish the McFlurry, but I think I do prefer the regular cone over this one, but it was good to try, you know, so if you wanted to try it, go ahead. So now we're getting into the Reese's Pieces McFlurry. Um, I was trying to show you guys what it looks like. Just think of the M&M McFlurry, but with Reese's Pieces. Since the iPhone doesn't like to focus, I just didn't try to make it focus. I just showed you, realized, and said, okay, I'm gonna eat it. Um, so initially my first thought was, wow, it's cold chocolate. I'm not a fan of cold chocolate. I've never been a fan of cold chocolate. A lot of other people are fans of cold chocolate, so if you like that, I mean, it's McFlurry, like, I don't, it's McFlurry. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's literally peanut butter pieces in the McFlurry, and it was good. I liked it. Um, once again, I didn't eat it all because it was too much ice cream for me. Um, but if it's in America, I would recommend getting it. I think I do like it over the M&M McFlurry. Um, it would go Oreo, the Reese's Pieces McFlurry, the Score, and then M&M. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the song Do You Believe? Actually, I shouldn't sing so I don't get copyrighted. That song um, came on and I, I started dancing to it with my McFlurry because that's what I do when I'm happy and I have food. And it wouldn't be a Canadian treats video without a visit to Tim Hortons. So I got a double-double, a poutine, and a 10-pack of Timbits. Um, if you're American, a double-double is what? Two beef patties and two cheese from In-N-Out or something? Here it's two cream and two sugar from Tim Hortons. Um, so the poutine apparently was out a long time ago, um, and then it came back a little bit ago. Um, so this was really good. You can see all the steam and all the cheese. Like It was extremely good. Oh my goodness. But I am not the big fan of the picky eater. I'm not the biggest fan of potato wedges. I wish that it was more like the shoestring fries from other places. Um, but it was a very solid routine because the potato wedges were actually super crispy and I loved that. Sorry about all the weird light flickering. Um, this was the only table in the corner and it was very sunny out. But this is actually disproving your theories about me being a vampire. So you're welcome. Unless, of course, you know the secret of Canada, how all of the windows are. Into two. Wait, what? Sorry, um, so this is the poutine. Um, it was really good. And then the Timbits, I actually only ended up eating one of them. And then I gave the rest to my mom because I knew I'd be eating a whole bunch of other stuff in this video. Um, but yeah, so they're just like donut holes in America. Um, and then I'm a 
about to show. <laughs> of course, it doesn't focus, so I don't know why I'm drawing that. Maybe because I'm trying to be a good, you know, person and let you see the glaze, but it didn't work out. Um, but you're about to get an overhead view of everything because I was not tipping my coffee over so that you guys could see inside of it. Nanaimo bars. Maple cookies. More maple cookies. And Australian Tim Tams. Arrow. Caramel. Coffee crisp. Bigger coffee crisp. And crispy crunch. And cr Mars? <laughs> Kinder surprise. Score! Crispy crunch. Maltesers. Cadbury. Other stuff. Big Turk. Smarties. Arrow Mint. Mm. Kinder. These Kinders are delicious. But I think they're in America. Hickory sticks. Weird Leaf Cheetos. Ketchup Doritos. So this is where beer would be in America, but we don't serve real beer here, so it's just root beer. Also, that bag was black and it was hot Cheetos, and I thought that it was gonna be extra hot Cheetos, but it wasn't in a lie to me. <laughs> Old Dutch is a Canadian brand. The Old Dutch ketchup chips are my favorite. And this is Kraft Dinner, which is not macaroni and cheese. It is KD. I went with the original. And those are just normal sized chocolate bars. So the first thing we're gonna eat today is the Nanimo bars. Um, Zeus is gonna want his treats first though or else he's gonna eat my Nanimo bars. Um, but yeah, I'm also gonna explain in a voiceover what they are <laughs> because I used to love these as a kid and I knew what they are, I know what they are, and they're good. I just would rather tell you guys exactly what they are. Um, they're in British, made from British Columbia or Vancouver. As far as I know. Okay, so there was a plane in the background being extremely loud, so you're gonna see me talking. Essentially, what I'm saying is just what I think it tastes like, but now that I have Google open, it says it is a bar dessert which requires no baking and is named after the city of Nanaimo. Uh, British Columbia on Vancouver. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> it consists of three layers. Oh, or layers, sorry. A wafer, a coconut crumb base, custard flavored butter, icing in the middle, and a layer of chocolate ganache on top. And the chocolate ganache on top is like a hard layer, so it crunches when you bite it. Um, and Zeus was really interested in what I was eating, so I let him sniff it, but not like it. Well, he could have if he wanted to, but he didn't because he's a good boy. <laughs> Canadian cream soda is pink. Okay, so disclaimer, picky eater alert again. I'm not a fan of cream soda, but I know that in America your cream soda, cold soda, <laughs> cream soda is clear or something like that. So we have pink crush cream soda. Um, It's like cream soda. <laughs> I don't know what else you would expect. Mm. Okay, so I have this weird angle for every other clip because it's the only way you can see me open it in without me making a tripod. Um, this coffee crisp container bag whatever was the hardest thing to open. I just had to use my teeth to rip it open because it would not open. Coffee Chris. So these are my mom's favorite chocolate bar. They're actually extremely good. 
Basically, it consists of alternating layers of vanilla wafer and a foamed coffee flavored soft candy covered with milk chocolate outer layer. This is what it looks up, up close and clear. By the way, my nails are not done right, so good luck all video with them. This is the approving face of Courtney when she eats coffee crisps. So this is a Mars bar. It says chocolate malt nougat um, topped with a layer of caramel and covered with milk chocolate. In the United States, it's known as the Milky Way bar. There was Mars bar in the United States, but it was discontinued in 2000s. Huh. Um, this one actually really hurt my jaw. If you guys didn't know, I've been sick for like a week and it's finally better. And when I bit this, <laughs> it messed it up. So I got fake nails like three months ago and now I'm using strength repair nails in my natural nail and it's all clumpy so that's why it looks like that okay. Okay so this is a Big Turk. Um, it says Big Turk is a candy bar manufactured by Nestle Canada. This That consists of dark magenta Turkish delight coated in a chocolate covering. Or coating sorry. Um, apparently my mom told me this is my grandma's favorite chocolate. Okay so these things are actually incredibly tiny. Like. <laughs> tiny so I'm just gonna eat one and then I'm gonna show you what's inside the other one well hmm it won't focus I'll do a focus shot soon but it's like chocolate with fruit Okay, so everything in this is actually Canadian. Um, you have the Wonder Bar, Krispy Crunch, Mr. Big and Caramel, Caramel, whatever. I used to say caramel. I don't know why I keep on saying car. Um, these used to be handed out when, like, at Halloween when we were kids. Um, and Mr. Big was my absolute favorite. Caramel was my least favorite. Um, and then Wonder Bar and the Krispy Crunch were like in the middle. Um, these are so good though like try them if you come to Canada and the, the Turkish delight or the big Turk that was delicious as well okay so first things first we're going with the crispy crunch um, it says crispy crunch is a hard chocolate bar with a crispy peanut flake inside that is made by Cadbury in Canada um, that was surprisingly good um, and I don't mean surprisingly good as in I thought it would be bad I just didn't remember it being that good Next we have the Wonder Bar, which is creamy peanut butter mixed uh, with light ri rice crisp and delicious caramel covered with rich Cadbury milk chocolate. Um, also <laughs> delicious. And here we go, Mr. Big which is layered vanilla wafer coated in caramel with rice crisps and covered in chocolate coating. Mm. So this is a caramel bar. Um, it says that the American version is called Caramello. Caramello. Um, it's less sweet and chewier than the Canadian caramel bar. Kinder Surprise. I got one three pack and one from the corner store. Um, this one's a princess one, but Kinder Chocolate in general is actually my favorite. Bueno, the little sticks, Kinder Surprise. Also, this is banned in America, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but a kid in the 1930s tried to swallow the toy and choked and then they got banned in America. Um, it says that the US regulation does not allow placing a non-food object inside food, but only if it's not visible from the outside. It's basically Americans don't know which <laughs> is food and which isn't. No shade though. So this time is dumb. I mean, I kept all of them. But yeah, if you've never had a Kinder Surprise, it comes with the toy inside and the instructions. Sometimes it comes with stickers as well. This one is Rapunzel and the boy. 
rider? I don't remember his name. <laughs> and then you stick them on this little thing and they're hugging? And that's it. open up the Star Wars one, which I thought was kind of cool. So let's see what we get. Write down in the comments which one you think I'm going to go for. One, two, or three. Well, now you know. It was too much chocolate to eat because I was starting to feel sick. Even though it's my favorite, I could not eat it right now. To think a kid in the US swallowed that. <laughs> Once again, it comes with instructions on how to build it. Well pictures. This little blue thing underneath R2-D2 didn't make sense. I even looked at the picture, I didn't understand. It was dumb. <laughs> now we've got arrow bars they actually look different now than they used to look now they're rounded on the edge but when i was growing up they were like a big rectangle um and they just didn't look the way they look now arrow actually used to be my favorite chocolate bars like believe it or not bite the chocolate and eat it or you're allowed to suck on it and let the bubbles melt in your mouth they used to have a commercial like feel the bubbles melt so this is Maltesers they're actually a British confectionery product but they're also in Canada just not in the US <laughs> So the Malteser was good, I haven't had it in a while, and it 100% reminded me of Whoppers, if you remember that candy. And last but not least is the Crunchy, um, it was also one of my favorite chocolate bars once upon a time. It's milk chocolate surrounded, well surrounding, um, toffee. And this one melted and then I had to refrigerate it. That's why it looks really weird. I also just wanted to specify, it's not just toffee, it's sponge toffee. Um, it makes a big difference, trust me. But yeah, even eating it now, it just reminded me of how much I loved it when I was a kid. All right, I decided to put all of the leftovers in a big bowl so that when my mom gets downstairs, she can have all of it.
Hickory sticks are one of my favorite Canadian specific chips, not one of my favorite chips overall. They're basically barbecue, hickory-ish, like just imagine eating barbecue spices, I guess. Super good and very salty and I love it. Okay, so all dressed ruffle chips is basically a combination of barbecue, ketchup, sour cream and onion, and salt and vinegar chips. They're not my favorite, and I don't know if it's because of all the chocolate I just tried, but they were bomb today. I was shocked. They were so good. I had so many. Very refreshing. Now we have the classic Lay's ketchup chips. They taste like ketchup chips. I know it sounds weird, but I swear it's good. I like it. Once again, Old Dutch is my favorite ketchup chip, uh, chip brand, <laughs> but Lay's is more widely known, so. Seventy percent air. Last but not least, we have the dill pickle Lay's chips, also 70% air. Um, these are also one of my favorite chip brands or flavors, um, specifically the Lay's one. I had the Extreme Pickle Doritos very long ago when they came out. Not as good. I like how um, light and subtle the flavor is on these. And no, there's no music playing. I'm just happy when I'm eating something good. All right. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> um, so I just finished eating all of the Canadian food. Um, I know it wasn't like a full on taste test, but I explained what they all taste like. So if you come to Canada, you should try some of the uh, specific Canadian foods I showed. Um, I didn't do bueno. Um, I always think my nose tire and whenever I see him. Um, I didn't do Smarties. Um, I have Smarties, but it was just so much food to eat. Um, but yeah, so did anything shock you if you're a Canadian? Like, I did not know that Mars bars were Canadian or that um, Score or like the weird -er chocolates. Like, Coffee Crisp, I knew. Um, Kit Kats. Apparently, in Canada, we um, have, like our chocolate is made to the Canadian palate, so it's actually sweeter, creamier, and something else. I read it in an article when I was looking up like Canadian foods, um, and I think that's really cool. So basically that means that the chocolate that's in Canada and America, <clears throat> Kit Kat, is not the same, and ours is better, and you can go read the article if you want. I don't know if it's creditable, um, but I'm gonna stick with it. <laughs>